There we go. What's going on guys and welcome uh, to my tutorial this evening. Uh, once again, I'm gonna go over on how to install Wii games on the Wii. Uh, there's a couple people that's having some problems doing this and so I'm gonna go step by step guys on how to, uh, I mean like start to finish what I'm saying. Downloading the game all the way to uh, loading it up on USB Loader GX. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do here in a little while guys. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, I'll see y'all guys in a second and we'll get started with this. Okay, cool. Okay guys, so let's just dive right into this. Uh, so pretty much all you're gonna need is two things. Uh, you're gonna need your Wii Backup Manager right here. Uh, it's a program that's going to install your games onto your USB hard drive. And you're going to need at least one game. I've got two here already downloaded. Uh, now these two are actually for someone else. I'm actually uploading them to a Mediafire site uh, for someone. But I'm going to use these in my tutorial. My vlog, right? Um, save time. Uh, also, if you don't already have USB Loader GX installed, this is going to be a totally different tutorial. But I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, here's the file right here like if you want to go ahead and download it or whatever uh, has all kind of, all the goodies in there uh, your iOS uh, 36 38 56 uh, you have all your apps in here also your wad manager your USB loader GX your iOS 236 installer and also your CIOS rev 20b installer and also you have the channels here you, these are the custom wads for your wad manager 1.7 and your USB loader GX. Uh, so like I said, that's a totally different tutorial there. Uh, this tutorial is strictly going over on how I install my games on my hard drive. All right, so let's, let me show you where you'll get all that stuff from. Uh, this, this is a Mediafire site and I had uploaded the Wii Backup Manager for you guys. So you can go ahead and download that here. Um, all, all these sites will be in the description, so don't worry. Uh, Romulation. This is a great site to download uh, games from, guys. Uh, hands down, the best site, to my knowledge, to do that. Um, you go over here to ROMs. Uh, these are your different platforms to choose from. Uh, Nintendo Wii, GameCube, uh, Game Boy Advance. You have your PlayStation, PlayStation Portable. I mean, you name it. Uh, there's only one bad thing about this. is uh, uh, Well, you do have to create an account. That's simple. Uh, there's nothing to that. But... Uh, once you create an account, you, uh, it's a point system, um, which I don't really care for. Uh, right now, I have 49,557 points. Now, every time you download a game, it, it, it takes off so many points, maybe 3,000, 4,000 points to download a game. Um, but once you first create an account, you start off with 10,000 points. Uh, so let's go over here. We'll click this right here and tell you a little more about it. Uh, so, you know, like it says right here, once you sign up, you'll, you'll earn 10,000 points right off the bat, okay? Uh, and like regular members like me, uh, like you guys, uh, you, we will receive 500 points every 24 hours, up to 50,000 points. So that's, just, that's the max we can get, which is cool. There's no, no big deal. Um, what I did, I created multiple accounts. Uh, that way, you know, I, when I use one account to download a game, if I don't have enough points I go to the other account and download a game that's the way I do it um, also you can't download more than one game at a time so that's that's another reason I got multiple accounts so I can download at least five or six games at a time all right so that's that um, as for your USB loader GX uh, this site right here will explain uh, a little bit about the USB loader GX its requirements installation all this good stuff down through here all right, <clears throat> if you want to down, uh, download the latest version, come over here to files, and right here you can download the latest version, which is the uh, 1262, all right? <clears throat> and you also have, on this site right here, you'll have, you, you can download the forwarder, all right? <clears throat> but if you go over here, uh, you can download pretty much everything in one site. You have your channel installer and all that good stuff in here already. But I, I'm just going to throw these uh, two websites in the description anyway y'all for y'all for you guys to check it out. Alright, so let's get down to it. We got our games here. Uh, let's, let's extract our 
uh, backup manager here, we backup manager. Okay, what I do, um, I'll these are files there. What I do, I just cut this out right here. I go to my uh, local disk and I just I just paste it right in here, just like that. And then I'll go into it. Uh, depending on Windows you have, I have the 64-bit, so this is the one I would use. What I do, I just create a shortcut. All right, and then I'll just take it out, put it on my desktop there, and then what I do, I'll pin it to the, uh, I'll pin it to the taskbar down here at the bottom, and then I'll just delete it. And there you go. Uh, there's, and that's the way I do it. You guys can do it a different way if you want. But uh, there's one thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, you have to create a folder. Uh oh, that's not. Oh, that's my hard drive. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, well, okay. All right, so. Uh, you have to create this folder on your computer, guys. WBFS folder. This will contain all your games right here. Uh, you, you, this is where you will put your, once you download a game, you put your uh, iOS, iOS, your ISO file right here, okay? For the sake of this tutorial, guys, I'm going to rename this so that uh, we backup manager don't pick this, this folder up, okay? I'm just going to name it we, okay? For right now, just, just so that we backup manager don't pick all the games up. So we're going we're gonna to create a folder here, we're going to call it... Uh, WBFS. Oh, bruh. What in the world? WBFS. Okay, there we go. All right. So. Oh man, where's my game back? Okay. So we'll open this folder up right here, and we'll drag our yikes, drag our game over in there like that, and we'll also drag this game over into that folder just like that all right so those are two games right there and in, inside of our WBFS folder now we want to start up our uh, we backup manager here okay all right so this is where we're gonna load the games up at go up here to drive one click on it and then go to here where it says inactive just click on that and it'll bring up all these drives now make sure uh, wherever that WBFS WF what, what folder was that <laughs> WFBS folder or what whatever that folder we just created just uh, whatever drive that was on just click that and then all your games from that folder will pop up right here okay then you just go through here and you you just check off which games you want to actually uh, install all right so I'll install one for you right now uh, let's go with uh, we'll go with centipede How about that well you know what yeah yeah nah, I ain't gonna install it right now I'm not it might take too long but uh yeah Trent you go over here once you click uh, what games you want to install go over here to transfer and you want to transfer WBFS file all right <clears throat> and once you click that then it will then will ask you where you want to install these at right so all my games are on the black box here and you want to install it onto in your, in your WBFS folder and that's another thing I wanted to show you guys um, not only do you have to have a WBFS folder on your computer for your ISOs but you also have to have a WBFS folder on your hard drive these are all my games here I don't know how many games I have but um, these are where they would go you know what, for the sake of this tutorial though, I do have that game, I do believe. No, I don't, okay. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and, uh, 
just transfer one for you real quick. I'll, I'll do the centipede since it's a smaller file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here, a black box. Just go to your hard drive, wherever you, you want your games at, and click on that and hit OK. And then it will automatically start just uh, converting it over onto your hard drive. As simple as that. So we'll just wait a second for this to get done. And then I'll go over to the, we'll go over to the Wii and uh, I'll show you how to uh, download the uh, cover art and stuff like that. Okay, just about there. Just give it a second. It's, it's finishing up here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now guys, that's it. Uh, we'll go uh, over to our uh, our Wii and we'll check it out. Uh, let, let me just double check something and I'll show you guys. Okay, there it is right there, Centipede. Uh, you can see it, it it created a WBFS file uh, it just instead of having the old way uh, you would uh, uh, format your your hard drive to WBFS you put your ISOs in there but this time around we're working with the uh, um, <laughs> what do you call it or the fat 32 system on your uh, format system on your uh, hard drive and what is it what it does it just um, format your game into a WBFS instead of your hard drive. Uh, just confused myself there. Alright, let's go over to the Wii guys and we'll check this out. Alright? Cool. Okay, so let's go on into our USB loader GX. Okay, this is all my games right here. Um, this may be a little different on you, you guys, but if you're not showing any games, you can come up here uh, and you have you can select the title sources. If you uncheck both of these here, then nothing will show up. Uh, I think on the original USB loader Jix theme, I think it's at the bottom somewhere. I can't remember, but yeah, just click this right here, guys. And um, you just want your Wii games to show up, just hit that and all your, just all your Wii games are going to show up. That's it. And this right here, this is my, uh, this is the one I just uh, installed. Centipede. Infestation. That's that right there. And so what we're going to do, we're going to uh, install the cover on this. Now if you have a lot of these that don't have covers, you simply go up here and uh, I'll show you. Go to where it shows the layout like this right here. Uh, go to your cover here. <clears throat> then click on it. And check all these off and just hit OK. And what that will do, it will it will download every cover for every game, whatever game you don't have cover for. You see what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and do that. And you you have you do have to have internet connection for this. Wait a second, my internet's kind of slow, so. Oh boy. Okay. The 12 files. Let's see, 12 files not found on the server. Okay, just hit OK. We're good there. And there's our game art right there. So what we're going to do, we'll go back to our original layout. And we'll see if I can't find the game here. Um, you 
guys see it? I don't see it. I see it here somewhere though. So if it don't show up, just do this right here. Go back up here, uncheck this, hit OK, and go back. It's like, kind of like refreshing it, I guess you could say. Refreshing the list. So now let's go back and we'll see. Let's see right there. It is right there. Okay. Centipede infestation. We'll hit start. We'll just go through it really quickly, like you know, to show you that it works. But yeah, the, the game does work as you can see, guys. Uh, so that's that. We'll go back to the Wii menu. <clears throat> now, guys, if you got... Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, there's one more thing. If you have a, game, a, a physical disc and you want to upload it... To, to your USB loader GX. Uh, simply just uh, put your disc in your Wii. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, I'm gonna put a disc in real quick. All right, hold on one second. Okay, so I just installed my disc. Okay, disc is inserted. Uh, what you wanna do, uh, if you want to uh, go ahead and install it, go ahead and do that and install the game. It'll start reading it or whatever like that and it'll start installing. So uh, continue to install the game, this is All Star Cheer. And uh, yeah guys, this is not my game so don't, don't be, you know, uh, yeah, it's not funny. Okay, but th yeah, this is for my daughter I had it for her but you know it's not for me guys and you, see, you simply just hit OK and uh, it'll start installing for you that's it uh, I'm not going to install it like I said this is uh, all star cheer this is something I don't want on my hard drive this is for my daughter and you know she can just use the disc okay I don't want that crap on my hard drive anyway alright so that's that's basically it guys uh, just make sure uh, yeah, if you just want your GameCube games to come up, there's all the GameCube right there. Um, let's see, NAND channels. Uh, let's see, there's Game Boy Advance there, and all this other stuff. I don't mess with that though. I don't. I don't. I just got, I usually have checked off my GameCube games and my Wii games. <clears throat> As you can see, they're all mixed together. That's it. That's it for the tutorial, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just comment below, and I'll see if I can't answer them for you. Uh, I know some people, I don't know, some things work for me, it don't work for other people. I don't understand that. The Wii is kind of confusing a little bit especially dealing with all these iOS files uh, and blogs and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. But make sure you have iOS 58. Let me see. iOS 2.3.6, iOS 58 installed for uh, moving off the hard drive, external hard drive. And that's it. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you guys later. And uh, Bobby signing out. Y'all have a good one. All right.